Hi everyone, it's Halloween month and I've got my boxy charm to open. It's actually from September. And since it is Halloween month, is my boxy charm going to be full of tricks or will it be full of treats? Stay tuned if you dare. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video in the month of October, which means it's time to dress up in costume, have a little fun. So anyway, I'm Nancy. I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you don't get scared and you stick around. Hit that little red subscribe button over there if you dare. And I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we're going to be doing our boxy charm. This is actually from the month of September. Yes, I am that far behind. But anyway, we're going to open this up see what kind of tricks or treats we have in this bag but first let's start off with the costume so i don't even know how old this wig is. this wig is maybe it's four maybe five years old it's seen better days but you know what it's a halloween wig it's pretty much pretty much it right i just roll it up in a ball stick it in the bag in the box that it came in and stick it with my halloween things and of course i have to decorate with a fascinator which actually i bought this fascinator when i thought fascinators were just for halloween what would ever make me think that i know i uh, got this necklace on that's also probably a few years old that came from amazon i think i got like a box of like five different things like this in one then maybe three maybe four years ago this dress i've had for a couple of years it's seen better days as well but one thing about this material is it stretches isn't that lovely so we got the bones here so we're like a skeleton lady it is a maxi dress and i've got bony legs bony bony legs and uh yeah not in real life but anyway it's just fun to kind of bring it out every year hope it fits and wear it for another season but anyway today we are doing our Ip ipsy which is now the new boxy charm base box it used to be my ipsy glam bag and i used to be able to say and and pull the string i can't do that anymore but anyway we've got this box it's used for their icon box it's used for uh the boxy charm it's used for glam bag items it's used for the drop shop items so just stay fun little box we open it up we got this crappy piece of paper but you know it must be okay because nothing got broke <coughs> sorry about that we got a pamphlet here and then we got the goodies that are in here i took everything out of the boxes already just to save a little bit of time and that crappy little paper did its job because nothing in here was damaged or broken Alrighty, so we got this uh, little brochure from them. It tells you about the theme of the month, which is find your groove. It talks about the mega drop shop that's coming, the last one for 2023. So it says it's 80% off your retail values here. And then there's a little QR code in case you wanted to scan that and read up a little bit about your picks. It shows you some power picks. I'm thinking these are the two items that uh, they would pick to put in your box so everyone would have got probably two of these items i suppose there could be more power picks that they just didn't put in um, and of course we get to pick out three the other page they have this bag right here and it's to celebrate the it doesn't, it doesn't look like it wants to focus but it's to celebrate the hispanic heritage month and they created this specially designed bag and it tells you about some items, some brands that are going to be in the mega sale starting on 10-9. And then it talks more about the mega drop shop that runs, I guess, from 10-9 to 10-22. 
and on the back page it just tells us that one of our fan favorites is back by popular demand so watch for glam glow if you happen to love that brand and then it tells you a little bit about how to build your bundle so um anyway for boxy charm it's 28 dollars a month and i just seemed like i got very dark there didn't i so anyway it's 28 dollars a month there's five full-size items in here they tell us that the average value should be about 200 dollars. i took everything out of my boxes already and it was 228 dollars you know i just look really really dark on my monitor i'm just going to hit refresh and i will be right back one Alrighty, yeah, I got dark there for a reason. I It was like the lights went up, but who knows what happened. But anyway, so let's get into the boxy charm. So again, it's $28 a month, five full-size items. Value is, they say, about $200. The value of my box this month was $228. So let's get into the first item. So this is one that they picked for me. I've had Cat Berkey before, but I've never had this one before. So this is a retin, retin C treatment complex. And this had a value of $90. So it's a retin C treatment complex. It says, say hello to your skin's dynamic duo, retinol and stay C vitamin C. So 2.5% Revisome retinol and 7% stay C vitamin C. And this formula helps promote cellular turnover, fade hyperpigmentation, and leave you with plump, hydrated skin that glows from within. So it says at night, plump a dime-sized amount into your palms, rub together to activate the vitamin C and retinol, and then pat on your cleansed skin. So value of $90, I'm game to give this a try. How about you guys? Alrighty, so the next power pick that they picked for me is from Yensa Beauty, and it is Pink Lotus a Peptide Retinol Face Cream, and this has a value of $48. It looks like it's getting kind of blown out there, so let me pull it back a little bit. And this is a moisturizer, and it says, hit refresh on your complexion with this anti-aging face cream. It use an, uses antioxidant rich pink lotus extract and firming pepsides to help brighten depuff and smooth tired and dull skin it says after cleansing uh, rub a little bit into your hands rub it on your face gently massage into your skin not rub 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 but massage and you can use this day and night Alrighty, so next they gave us some picks to choose from so i'm going to insert those pictures right here All right, so for my first pick, I had a choice of a Trace Loose Beauty Eye Palette, an Iconic of London, a Lip and Cheek Palette, a Luna Magic Foundation Powder, a Defiance Beauty Lipstick, a Keys Soul Sore, Soul Care, not Soul Sore. That would be bad, I think, even if it is Halloween. So a Keys Soul Care, a tinted lipstick or lip balm and then Moby Beauty it was a perfect eyebrow pencil I picked the eyeshadow palette by Trace Lucy I actually have this on today and it does have a mirror so let's show you the shades right here so these are the shades I actually used this right before I did my video so I'll show you which ones I used so I had a little bit of trouble I used this black one right here I used that in the outer quarter and I really really had to build it up but I just read the directions and I think I needed to use water for that then I used this shade right here and this was really really pigmented my god that went on dark but I think it looks okay then I used this one right here this kind of mauve colored shade all over the bottom of my lid and then i use this sparkly shade right here all over this didn't really give it color it just put some sparkles on it that i don't even know 
if you guys can see. But those are the looks. The look I did. All right, and I don't usually do that because I usually decide if I'm going to keep it or not later on. So, so what does it say about this palette? So this palette was worth thirty dollars, and it says prepare yourself for eighteen shades packed with pure sweetness, with sixteen eyeshadows and two water activated cake liners. So I'm pretty sure that was why I had trouble building up that black. That was probably the liner that I needed to add a little bit of water to. So it says, all named after delicious Latin American treats, the palette has you covered with bold colors, neutral staples, and mouth-watering shimmers. Plus, it comes with a keepsake mirror that makes creating on the go look, eye looks a breeze. Let me read those colors. So again, it's Trace, Trace Lucy, and the name of the palette is Dulce, Dulce Vida. And the colors I used was Biz Choco. Biz Choco, that was what I, I was probably the eyeliner that I used for a shadow. I used uh, that kind of darker color that's called Pastelitos. The movie color was Bolo the Rolo, and then the sparkling shade was Bunuelos. So some fun colors, some fun picks. I'm not sure what makes this a keepsake mirror. I wonder if it comes out or something. And it does, it comes off. So it does, that's why it's a keepsake mirror. So when you do run out of the palette and you can take this mirror off, it's a magnet. So you can use that for on the go. Alrighty. Okay, sometimes it helps to read these things a little bit. So let's do the second choice. Alrighty, now for my second choice. They gave me a choice of Nip and Fab. It's a Hyaluronic Fix Extreme Concentrate 2%. Um, Derma Lectives and Energizing Body Lotion. Amika, which was a dream routine overnight hydration treatment, conserving beauty, conserve your face oil, a uh, Ho Laboratories, a House Laboratories, it probably is, is a Le Monster Lip Crayon in Peach Matte, and KAB Cosmetics, a liner in black, and I chose the Amika. And I had some oil in there from, I might have been last month or whatever, but I do enjoy that. So when I saw another hair treatment, I thought I had to get it. So this has a value of $32 and it's a hair mask and it says, ready to wake up to the hair of your dreams? I know I am. Packed with hydrating superheroes like hyaluronic acid, coconut water, blue algae or algae and sea buckthorn this silicone free wonder boost moisture while you catch those z's so it says distribute about one to four pumps of the mask onto your dry or damp hair before bedtime so there's quite a bit in here i am going to enjoy using that again this had a value of 32 dollars all righty so now let's check out the third choice Alrighty, and now for our third choice. So um, I could have got a set of basic sponges, uh, beauty sponges, Aceology, a passion fruit reforming lip scrub, Mud Masky, a vitamin infused scalp scrub, a Danessa Myrix Beauty, an in infinite chrome micro pencil in lilac quartz, uh, Too Faced Cosmetics, which was a lipstick in Too Femme, or Luna Beauty, a lip liner duo in blushing and doodle. Alrighty. And I know this was a weird one. I was like going back and forth between the mud masky and who knows what else. But I decided on the lip pencils. And blushing and doodle. So I guess those are the colors right there. So they look like pretty neutral shades. So I figure I can I can get away with using those shades, right? I don't even know if that's going to show up, but that's one. 
and let's do the other one which is a little bit a deeper color so I figured those those are pretty normal neutral colors that I can get away with wearing so anyway I thought I would pick those ones I don't think the value on those was $28 so again everything in my box this month was $228 I paid $28 so that's kind of like a really good thing and I'm pretty sure I am going to use everything that's in here like I said I think my favorite thing is this palette just because it, it is different that it's got that mirror that comes out it just has some pretty nice shimmers I don't know if all the shimmers are going to be like that I you know maybe I will try to swatch them and then hold my hand up and just see what they look like and now that I know that those two on the end are water activated liners it's going to go much easier next time so anyway let me swatch those and I'll be right back well that was harder than I thought it was going to be like I said it's you know I tried to do it but they are so light on me that I just couldn't get them to show up so I decided to put them on a piece of paper see how that goes so again they do come out very very light so maybe using a primer underneath would help and this one right here this is that the black that I had forever trying that I worked forever trying to build up in the corners and of course now I know it needs to be water activated but again it is a pretty palette I just think I need to kind of work with it a little bit I'm loving the colors that I used um, which was this one right here which is the, the darker one and that one really did cover nice so anyway that is everything that was in my palette like I said I am terrible at swatching but one day maybe I will figure it out so anyway I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in spending a little bit of time with me I appreciate you guys so much I hope you give this video a thumbs up your comments of course are always welcome I hope everyone goes out has a fabulous fabulous day take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun. I love you all so much and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.